Kinka was always, uh, when he ran into politics, it was that uh, shoe shine, that shoe shine boy from South Mission. But then, you know, Kinka learned English, and that was the difference right there. He went to school, went to college, uh, served in the military, both the Navy and the Army, served in Korea, went to law school, became a lawyer. I mean, he graduated from college and went immediately started running for the, the House of Representatives in the state of Texas and got it. Um, that's very unusual. He served in the state legislature from 1953 to 1965. And in 1965, he went to the U.S. Congress until 1997. But I think the one thing, that too, that people always remember Kika for, they, they know him by his first name. They don't think of him as Congressman de la Garza. They think of him as Kika because he brought government to the people. Most people don't want to really be involved in politics or government or they don't understand it or it's not a part of their daily lives. And Kika made it part of their lives and made them engaged in it and that's why he's always remembered by everyone. I think that we often forget how important it is to have a spouse, to have a friend, to have someone to work with you. Well, Lucille's an inspiration to all of us. And behind every great man, there is a great woman. I firmly believe that. You know, Lucille knew everybody. Her family was very involved in politics as well. And she, Lucille, always made sure that her husband received the respect that he deserved and that, and that he had his place and she was right there by his side all the way. Mrs. De La Garza is the epitome of, uh, of intelligence, of elegance, uh, exquisite social graces. She was so strong a compliment to his political career because she understood a lot of it. Lucille already had that strong background and it was a tremendous asset to Kika. I don't think you think of the congressman without Lucille or Lucille without the congressman because they, they really are a, a joint partnership in everything that they do. To be involved in public service and have a family, have a wife, have children, uh, it's a tremendous sacrifice. And if you don't have a partner who is strong and supportive of what you're doing as an elected official, uh, you're going to have chaos and, and, and problems in the family and what we've seen is somehow Kika and Lucille managed to be, to keep a strong family. Once he became chairman of the Agricultural Committee of, uh, of, of Congress, I mean he then, he really took care of our South Texas area. He was able to achieve a very important a very powerful committee of our government. So he was able to use that influence to, uh, to help our area, and we saw the changes that were made during, uh, during his tenure as congressman. In the field of agriculture, you know he brought water to the colonias, and he also helped so many of our rural farmers and ranchers because they did not have access to water, and he made sure that they did. Uh, Kika made sure that farmers could borrow money easily for example. Uh, I'm a chemist in my first profession, and so I know something about pesticides. Kika made sure that the pesticide industry was one that had not only efficacy, but safety. And you know that when he was in the district, it was always going from one place to the other, but he always made time to go uh, to the expanded nutrition program. You know, throughout the United States, that program was in, pr in, in trouble. And he always pulled it out. He always pulled it out. And right now, the program still exists. Uh, and he really championed for education and helping to pass the bill that created the university and then making it part of the UT system and uh, eventually donating his congressional papers to our university rather than maybe a larger or more well-known university in, in the state or in the country. It's because of his grandchildren. He wants his grandchildren to be able to read those papers and he wants them to be able to be close. He also has a great love for the university, that's clear. I mean, if you go over and look at the papers at the library, you'll be amazed at them. We're 89% Hispanic at the university. It's the right place to house 
leading Hispanics work? Uh, there's been so many little questions that have come up in the, in the process of processing that, you know, what does this mean? You know, they've contextualized so many things and they also give so much background information. They're just a pleasure to work with, both in the context of the congressional collection itself, but also the oral history. It's been a lot of fun working with them. Giving back to the community is very important. That people wanted to give back in his name shows you how much the congressman has done for the Valley. With the aid of the Kika de la Garza Scholarship, I have been able to succeed much further than I would have without the help of that scholarship. The financial burden is eased. The choice was to do a sculpture of a person of significance from Mission. And who is more significant than Kika de la Garza? And uh, we're looking forward to seeing it put up. But this summer, we're going to start casting it in bronze. I'm a great admirer of, of, of uh, Congressman De La Garza and his wife Lucille. Uh, they're, I consider them to be very good friends. Uh, they have done so much for our South Texas community. I am very happy that they're being honored here this evening. Kika is considered not only an icon, but el padrino y el amigo del Rio Grande Valley. You've shown us, you know, that if we work hard, if we walk a straight line, we get educated that there's a world of opportunity out there. Every one of these students here are their grandchildren. They're the ones who have helped us make this possible. They're the ones who've given the dreams to these children. I want to say thank you for the dreams. I uh, congratulate you not only for your accomplishments as a congressman and Lucille as your accomplishments, as a woman involved in, in education and, and the Democratic Party and all the things that you did. But I congratulate you on your children and, and uh, Jorge, Michael, Angela, thank you for sharing your parents with us.